with his two dogs, Hash and Mac, joining in on the chase. Robert's adrenaline is pumping, and he's not thinking about what he might be getting himself into. When people step in to stop crimes on their own, they're putting themselves in a lot of danger because you don't know the level of violence that the perpetrator could try to enact onto you. So you have to be really cautious. What if he had a gun? But I don't think that that even crossed his mind. He had the opportunity to do something, and so he did. And in his mind, this could be this person's only mode of transportation, and stealing ain't right. If it was my wife or any of my family, if they were the one having something stolen from them, I would appreciate if, if you know, somebody stepped in and helped them. So in the blink of an eye, Robert and his horse, Long John, and the two dogs are hot on the thief's trail. He stood no chance, no way. You know, this horse would outrun a man on a bike or a foot 99% of the time. You're going to have to be really, really fast to, to beat one of these horses at a dead run. He looked over his shoulder, and he sees me. I think he put it together like, oh, crap, this guy's here to catch me. It, he kind of like, what in the heck is going on? He leaves the bike. He like throws the bike down and goes to run, and he's going to continue on a foot. But I know he had to have been pretty damn nervous. He's not the only one. Long John isn't at all sure about this chase. The cars around him were new. Everything was a complete shock to him. He was kind of spooked. First time he had been rode on blacktop, he kind of moves a little faster than I needed him to. But Robert is determined to chase the thief down. So he does something that shocks everyone who is watching the scene unfold. He pulls out his lasso. A lasso is definitely an unexpected weapon to apprehend this criminal. It's definitely something that you would see more in like a Western movie or a TV show. I have the rope down and in my hand ready, but I didn't swing it until I got right up to him until I was within range. I was probably 20, 30 feet from him and uh, I swung twice. Now, the situation is tense. This could have turned deadly if the perpetrator has a weapon on him. With the robber still trying to escape, Robert swings his lasso in the air and takes aim at the bike thief. I rope him, and the rope goes around his neck and one arm when I catch him. And in Robert's words, you know, he roped him just like he would a cow. He's asking me, who are you? Are you the cops? Or what are, you, what are you doing? Are you a sheriff? And I just stayed quiet. When he took this rope off, he let it fall around his feet. So I dallied again, and I rode my horse off to knock him down. And that's when he fell to the ground, and I drug him off the blacktop. That way, he didn't get ran over. And so I, when I drag him onto the concrete, he grabs a hold of the tree. And then I continue to hold him there until uh, I got on the phone. And I called 911. 911, what's the address of the emergency? Who got a guy that just stole a bike? I got a rope and tied to the street. And where is the person that took the bike now? He's tied to the street. With the, I got a rope from a horse. What? 